Okay, good day, and welcome to the Snow Church for Wednesday, March 14th. Here we are creeping up on St. Patrick's Day, and Aaron Gobra, we're going to have ourselves a St. Patty's Day storm. You know, it's funny, when I first moved up here and word got out that I was a meteorologist, and more and more people started asking me about the weather, they were always asking me how we're going to have a St. Patty's Day storm. And then it turned out that any storm really within about three or four days of St. Patrick's Day ended up being the St. Patrick's Day storm. Well, I don't really recall an actual storm happening on St. Patrick's Day itself, but it's going to happen this year. So here you go, folks. For everybody that wanted a St. Patrick's Day storm, the luck of the Irish is with ya. Where are we? We are in Utah. More specifically, the Little Cottonwood Canyon, east of Salt Lake City. There's two ski areas up that canyon, Snowbird and Alta. Alta's at the top of the canyon, Snowbird just a little bit further down. Alta averages about four to 500 inches of snow a year. And they're getting her good now. About five, six inches of fresh uh, so far with this event. And they look like they're going to get about two feet. And sun's just coming up. In fact, I waited a couple of minutes. I wait about 10 minutes to start this video for the sun to come out there so that we could get this beautiful shot. So... Now, let's move on, shall we? Here's the snowfall over the last 24 hours. Barely a spit in the entire Midwest. Just a few flakes in Indiana and Ohio. And it is currently quiet across the Midwest. Unless you want to count these snows starting to break out in the Dakotas. Some of that might not even be reaching the ground just yet. But um, we're really not expecting too much snow during the day today in the Midwest. Snows will get going in earnest across the western Dakotas later on tonight and work their way into the upper Midwest. And it does look like, at, at least at this point, a doozy of a storm for places like uh, oh Duluth and then up the North Shore and then from Duluth across northern wisconsin those northern maybe two tier counties of uh wisconsin and then a good chunk of the up the uh, south central and eastern up may not get as much snow as the west and the north but everybody's going to get some snow um forecasts then shall we here is the european model and this is what we're looking at. You can see pretty quiet. And then we get these snows to break out in the Dakotas. This will be at about oh 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 p.m. tonight. No, it isn't. Um actually. This is at about, uh, right here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, get way ahead of myself. I'm so excited. Actually, it won't be too much snow. And like that stuff I just showed in radar, not really hitting the ground um, yet. But then we'll watch that snow break out. My apologies, here we go. Here comes the storm, here comes the storm. All right, this would be 3Z on Friday. So this is Thursday, Thursday at about 10 p.m. Yes, 10 p.m. And then this would be about 1 a.m. on Friday. You can see already some six inch total starting to accumulate in the Ironwood and uh, Ashland area of Wisconsin. Also some pretty decent totals down here into uh, Nebraska, South Dakota. 
And then let's just roll this baby out. Watch it keep piling up. Look at how the, the UP is really targeted for this one. And I'm going to stop it at 120 hours right there. Because this is about the end of the storm. This is like, say, about 7 p.m. on Sunday. So there will be some lake effect snows that fall on Sunday. Not a lot, a couple of inches. But basically, this will pretty much do it for this storm. And let's zoom in then on those totals. And we can see a 23 Marquette, 28 Capahaba, 20 in Houghton, looks like 16 in Ashland. If you can make out these oranges right in here, those are where the heaviest snows are supposed to fall with this system. So, um, uh, there could certainly be some 30-inch totals here in the, uh, the Huron Mountains, I guess you could say. Might be a good, a, good, a good weekend to head to the Hurons and play in the snow there. But it's going to be a good weekend to really head anywhere. I mean, Eagle River just picked up a foot of snow last weekend. Now they're going to get 8 inches of snow just ahead of this weekend, Duluth had the same thing. In fact, I heard the Miller Hill Mall is the big mall in Duluth, and a section of their roof collapsed. Nobody was hurt. The mall was probably closed, but uh, it's a mall that I've been in quite a few times, and if you've ever been in Duluth shopping, you've probably been there too. But uh, at any rate, thankfully nobody was hurt. But, um, boy, I'm guessing that the mall is closed for now. And isn't that a beautiful sight, folks? Too bad that this wasn't maybe a January storm, but who cares? A storm's a storm's a storm's a storm. Now, here is the GFS, the U.S. model. And we'll just kind of roll that out to uh, about 120 hours right there five days out in forecast um 7 p.m eastern time on actually we yeah, have some p.m eastern time on uh, on sunday and we can also zoom this baby in using the same uh website anyway not quite as, it's interesting for the last two days or so the gfs has had the higher numbers and the european has had the lower numbers in fact if you can remember yesterday's european did what looks to be now a head fake and had you know single digit totals to maybe a foot of snow whereas now it's easily in the upper teens to 20 inches of snow in the main snow band and the GFS is pretty similar. It looks pretty solid in the upper teens. Could be some 20 inch totals down there by, um, you know, the big snow country areas of Ironwood, Bessemer, Wakefield. Um, trying to think, maybe even as far west as Lake Gogebic. But, uh, Totals aren't too shabby elsewhere. In fact, I did put my cursor. Uh, I don't want to do it on here, but um, <laughs> okay. Um, I wish for some reason it doesn't work here, but when you're on a computer. You put your cursor right over an exact spot. And I did do that this morning, and it was about 20-some-odd inches right there in Jacobsville. And the key, a good chunk of the key when I was 20-some-odd inches as well. So um, all, all systems seem to be go for a very, very big snow event uh, starting up late Thursday, continuing into Friday. And then winding down as we go through Saturday with lake effect snows, 
uh, across a good chunk of the Northwoods, I guess is the best way to put it. Let's back out to the national view then and see what happens beyond that. Well, not a whole lot until maybe the very end. See how we get another? There is another storm indicated to come in by about Wednesday, Thursday of next week. 22nd, 23rd of next week. The uh, European has it as well. Pretty quiet, pretty quiet, pretty quiet, pretty quiet. And then boom, bop. It's hard to see it because we've already got so much snow on the ground that it just throws more, excuse me, throws, I have been drinking, uh, throws too much, or there's already snow there, so it throws more snow, and it's just hard to see it picked up. But uh, that one could be potentially another maybe four to eight, or a little bit more than that. So winter, winter's not over. Although yesterday was a beautiful day, we got to about 32 degrees with sunshine. It was just perfect, perfect spring day. Um, so to have those kind of days in between and then you get a bunch of snow and then you get those nice days and then, you know what I mean? It's great. I would not hesitate at all to come up and snow recreate, snow play, as I call it snowmobile ski anything because we've got these nice warm temperatures although yesterday morning i was one below so early morning temperatures can be pretty chilly on a clear night but it did warm up nicely by about midday it was sitting at like i say probably uh 25 26 degrees and we had lots of sunshine so that be the forecast um i guess i can shut her down rather than just ramble and keep using up time but thanks for hanging around still and uh i don't know i may have to go with even a, a heavier helmet tomorrow if that storm is still coming as indicated but i feel safe with this one on so far uh, maybe have to just wrap this one in tin foil how about that all right have a great one everybody I will talk to you again tomorrow. Keep those sticks on the ice and a smile on your face.